we already created the web service. We already created the web service just to make sure we deploy it. Okay, just to make sure we deploy it. Okay, just to make sure we deploy it. So look at the output. It's gonna show if you successful or deploy successful something. Okay. Okay. The last few server over here deployed it's already successful deployed already. So we have our web service running. Unfortunately, this version of Java we cannot test our service directly. Okay. Or we need some uh, further configuration to do so. But then I'm gonna create a website. We go into the last tier, which is a web application. We're gonna create a web application to make use of to make use of our to make use of our web service over here. Over here. Okay. So we're gonna create a web application new project. Java web application next. This one we gonna code it. We gonna code it with, let's say, student management system website. Okay, this one is the web client. Web client making use of the web services. Okay, so you have one tire to run the database, one uh, tire to run the web service, one tire to run the web server, and the web browser for the client. Okay, web browser for the client. So we create our website next. Still deploy it on web service next. And this time I'm gonna use Java Server Face just to make it easier for me to code the front uh, front uh, uh, because Java Server Face is focusing on creating the GUI for the front front end application. So I'm gonna use Java Server Face, which help me to code the front end. Not much about business processing, okay? Because business processing, um, I have done in web services already. Okay, Java surface will focus on surface processing. Okay, surface processing. Okay, then we click on finish. We click on finish. Okay, so we have our we have our website created here. Okay, and this website need to make use of. The web service, okay. Web service. The website need to make use of the web service. Service, okay. That's why we need to add the. Similarly, the web service make use of the core library. So you add the core library into the web service. Now you need to add the web service into the website, okay. And we're gonna right click on this, okay. Click on new, okay. Click on other okay uh, right click on this move to news move to others click on it then you're gonna choose web service where is that web service here web service and we're gonna drag down drag this one down and we're gonna choose web service client okay. our website is a client for the web service okay web service client next this one, the project name, we're gonna browse. Okay, we're gonna browse for the project name. Browse. This one is our SMS uh, web service project. We created earlier. Expand it. And here is the web service we created. It has add batch and load batches method. So we click on OK. Yeah. Then we going to, we are going to, uh, anything else? Nothing else. Okay, we just gonna click finish. Okay, just gonna click finish. So it it generated the web service references here already. New web service over here. Okay, start web service port over here. One of the two methods. You can call the add batch and load batches. So it's gonna help you to call to the web services. Web services gonna call to the library. This library gonna work with the database. Okay. Now uh, we are gonna do some backend for this index one. Or well, let's just see this index is for the start. Okay, the start page, and this start gonna be able to add students. Let's say. So we are gonna right click on this one and making a. Uh, uh, source packages, source package. Right click and uh, make, let's say, um, MB manage bins. Make a package called MB here. 
make a package, new package called MB. Okay, again, right click on this new package MB for manage bin. Okay, manage bin. Manage bin is backing bin for this index.html. Okay, index.html. And inside this one, we're gonna right click and create a new uh, JS app manage bin. And if you haven't seen it here, just click on other. Okay, just click on others. And you have Java server faces. JS app manage bin over here. JS app manage bin. Next, we're gonna code this one is a stop manage bin. It's gonna uh, code the yeah, things for the stop. Okay, stop manage bin. This page is for the stop, so it's, it's for the stop manage bin. Finish. Okay. Uh, and it's better, I'm gonna use not dependence here, but I'm gonna use session bin. Okay, session bin. Session bin. Okay, finish. Done. Okay, so we have everything uh, done. So this start manage bin, I'm gonna create a method, let's say public. Uh, public. Uh, Lisa batches, all right batches. Okay, get batches. Okay, get batches. And this one is gonna, we're gonna make use of the method load batches over here. Load batches over here. Okay, so I, I drag and drop, I drag and drop this method inside here. It will generate the method down there. We we'll generate the method down there. And this one is return you the list of batches. Fine then. Okay, it's return your list of batches. So we don't use this as array, but it's gonna use this as list of batches. Okay. List of batches. Done. And you're gonna return load batches method from here. This method is actually this method. We call into our web services method. Web service method. So it's load batches for you. Load batches. Okay, matches for you. Okay, again, to call to uh, methods inside here, you just drag and drop it down there, and it's going to generate the 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 uh, stop method for you here, the client method for you here. This one will help you to call to the load batches in the web service, or it's going to call this load batches here. Okay, and this will uh, 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 make use of the uh, it's gonna make use of the start for shape. Okay, then the start for shape gonna make use of the start for shape gonna make use of the library to load the batches for you. Okay, so you have the batches here already. You have the batches here already. You have the batches here already. Okay, you have the batches here already. If you have the batches here already, now you can go to the index. You're gonna use, uh, let's say, uh, JS app table. JS app data table. Okay. JS app data table. And you're gonna use star for shape manage bin dot batches. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one, I was in here. Control space, okay. Control space. Then we are going to select the app data table, okay. Control space. So it's just us the code over there, and we're gonna choose the app data table. Oops, 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 oops. Control space, JS app data table. Then we are gonna bind it with the start manage bin we uh, first shape manage bin we created before. To the properties which is batches, okay. Two properties which is batches, okay. Two properties which is batches. For each item over here, we're gonna make h column, okay. So then we need to make a uh, uh, app fix set um, name equal to header, and this one we need to have the column for id, okay, or batch id. Then we need to bind to the item dot 
ID. Okay. Similarly, we want to create H columns F fix size name equal to a header and uh, this one is match name okay and we're gonna bind it to item dot name so we have our table here already right? so we have our table here already right? so try to run this one now wait and hope okay run this one now Try to run this one now. Oops. So, uh, injectable fields. I will need to have some time to fix this one. Maybe it's the service. Stack trades. Let's just, let's say. We may need to, uh, let me just try to build the deploy, deploy everything first. Uh, this web service, clean build, deploy. This one, uh, clean. Let's just, just make sure, let's, let's just make sure to update this as well. Refresh this. Yes. Okay. And then deploy this. Okay. And then run it. Okay. See, it is done there. It is done there. So you already completed. You already completed. You created the database. You created the core library. You created the web service. You created the website which make use of the web service. Okay, let's say at least to load the data from the database and display them. Okay, to load the data from the database and display them. Okay, so we finished a series of, of each of the system already.